there is one word that is making investors shake in their boots right now. Inflation. It is a benchmark that measures how quickly prices for goods and services increase. When investors think inflation is on the rise, they expect central banks will raise the cost of borrowing to cool down the economy. Last week's wild ride in global stock markets was partly caused by expectations that the strong U.S. economy would lead to more rate rises this year. And later today, the U.S. government unveils its latest consumer price index number. Earlier, I asked analyst Peter McGuire what he thinks the numbers will show. We are expecting to see a decline for core and CPI rates and headline to uh, 1.9 to 1.7 respectively, down from 2.1 and 1.8, which was previous. So we're expecting to see a downturn in those inflation numbers and uh, we're, it's just a wait and see approach over the following hours. So Peter, if we do not see a downturn, but a rise, which is uh, uh, something that uh, market analysts do not expect, could this basically bring back market mayhem? Well, I think it probably could. There's no doubting that. I mean, the, very much the market is very centered on, you know, a, a fall in those particular inflation numbers. And if we do see a rise, then volatility will certainly pick up and we could see a return to what we experienced last week in the uh, American market. So, and that will be naturally across all markets, taking on board Asia and, of course, into the UK and Europe as well. But if the number is what you expect to be lower than the previous month's uh, data, could this calm down the markets and clear the way for more gains? Well, I think it possibly could. There's certainly the other side as far as what the Fed's prepared to do is interest rate rises in 2018. The market's tipping we're going to see two rate rises or possibly three. And it's all stemming from these inflation numbers. That mm -hmm. really is what the central banks are conscious of globally and, of course, the U.S. If you expect two three or four rate hikes this year from the U.S. Central Bank. When will be the first one? I think possibly over the next 60 days, I wouldn't be surprised to see something, you know, by that April sort of number. You may see it sooner. It just depends where, what the Fed and what they're prepared to do as far as voting for it. Uh, but I think that they'll ratchet it up and uh, ratchet it up relatively quickly. Uh, and then that mindset as far right. as do they introduce that third rate rise later in the year.